been learning about value investing, finance, just regular investment for a while now, but you don't know where to go next. You're getting confused about the vast amount of information on the internet. You don't want to waste your time on crap information. You want good information um, and reliable information. In this series of videos on value investing and finance education, you will find those answers to those questions and much more. My name is Jason Rivera. Welcome to Value Investing and Finance Education. Hey, Jason here. Today, I want to continue talking a little bit about capital allocation with a real world, <clears throat> a real world example I just did. Last week, to kind of recap though, before we do that, I want to recap what we talked about last week. Specifically when it comes to thinking about expenses the wrong way. Uh, most people think about expenses the wrong way, in my opinion. I'll just re do a short recap of last week's video and also link that video below this. So you can watch it as well. But most people view expenses the wrong way. They get pissed off when they see, oh, I got to pay for my team members. Oh, I got to pay for X, Y, Z, and the money's just gone. If you think of things like that, you're thinking of the wrong way, in my opinion. You need to think of his expenses as investments. And here's a real world example of that. Uh, but first, I've got an announcement to make. I'm going to be in the Philippines. I've been invited in to the Philippines to speak on marketing to a group of co-ops. And I want to be speaking in front of 200 people in Baguio City. Baguio City? Not, hopefully that's right. Any Filipinos out there. Uh, I will be in the Philippines between April 19th and April 28th of this year. I will be speaking in Baguio City on April 21st. And we'll be doing two other events. One is going to be a value investing event. Uh, and another is going to be on capital allocation specifically. So if you're in the Philippines, love to hear from you. Love to meet with you when I'm there. Um, gonna do those three events and some tourist stuff, some food stuff, some stuff on my team. Cause my team teammates are in the Philippines as well. But I will have some open time, so I'd love to meet you. Love to talk with you. Love to see you at some of these events. So to prepare for that, I had to get, I just got five vaccines in my arm. And I have to take another orally so some of these were boosters but some of them i've never gotten before japanese encephalitis i had to get a vaccine for typhoid tetanus uh polio booster hepatitis a and there's one more there were six insanely expensive <laughs> vaccines so i didn't know this i when the last time i got vaccines i was a military kid and we got them for free so <laughs> I go in there expecting maybe to spend two to 400, 500 bucks tops. They were $1,000 for these six vaccines. So what I used to, what I would have done in the past, I would have been all pissed off. Oh, this is stupid. Why do I have to pay so much for these vaccines? Do I really want to kind of go on this trip? Is it worth it? Blah, 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 blah. Until about three years ago, that's how I would have thought. But the more I've learned about value investing and capital allocation and finance and how to think like a business owner and how to think like a millionaire or billionaire, the more I've kind of reversed my thinking. Now, I look at these shots, $1,000, the sore arm for potentially a week, fever if I get that, I'm feeling fine now, but fever potentially if I get that, feeling lethargic for a week, whatever. Any side effects that come from this is an investment. $1,000 investment in my ability to go to the Philippines and speak to 200 people at a marketing group. However many people we sign up for our other two events and to pitch my services and consultation services at all these events. It's a $1,000 investment in that. Plus the experiences of meeting my teammates in person for the first time, going to a country I've never been to, going to a country my wife was born in, seeing things I've never seen, doing things I've never done before. It's, it's an investment in all of that at kind of one level. Then, because I get to pitch my services at all these events, let's say I made $20,000 while I'm over there. 
Not bad. That's a 20x return on my $1,000 investment in getting vaccines. If we make $100,000 while I'm over there, it's 100x return on my investment in vaccines. See, it's a completely different mindset, completely different way of thinking. Before, I would have been pissed off. Now I'm looking at it as an investment. Okay, I have to spend $1,000 to get vaccines so I don't get sick while I'm over there. Because my immune system isn't used to some of those diseases and diseases, fevers, whatever else is over there. Um, because we don't have those in the United States. So if I were to go over there and get sick and not get the vaccine because I was pissed off about the, uh, about the um, cost, I would be sick potentially instead. So you have to kind of weigh these things. And since I've been sick most of my adult life, with business issues, I don't really feel like that. I would pay pretty much anything in the world if a doctor could come tomorrow and tell me, I know how to completely cure your dizziness, get you back to where you can do anything you want. I would pay, I would try to pay, figure out how to pay any amount in the world to do that. Because again, I felt sickness most of my entire life. So that's another way to look at this investment as well as me and not getting sick. I'm investing in my health and not getting sick while I'm over there so I can enjoy my trip and hopefully help a lot of people and make as much money as I, me and my team can. So not only, so that's three different levels and just one level is monetary that you can kind of measure the 20X to 100X return, whatever money we end up making up over there, whatever, that's the monetary return that it, you can actually physically measure. The experience, the meeting my team members, the meeting if I am able to meet with the child we sponsor over there, the um, helping people at these events, um, the food, the sites, all that. You can't measure that. So the returns, again, will be multiplied, at least this the way I think about it, will be multiplied on top of the monetary returns that we earn. So it'll be an exponential return on my $1,000 investment in getting it in vaccines. Again, I don't use that ex as an expense and it's just poof, it's gone. I put $1,000 essentially worth of chemicals in my body, in my arm, to stop getting sick so I can earn these 20X, 100X, whatever X returns we end up doing over there. This is how I view expenses as investments. If you want to be a better investor, if you want to be a better value investor, if you want to be a better business person, entrepreneur, I truly believe you have to learn how to think like this. Not everything, most expenses, in my opinion, are actually investments. So another example I talked about earlier, expenses for my team, paying them, to do stuff that either I shouldn't be doing or I don't like doing. So I can concentrate on doing stuff like this. That's an investment in my business. Me reading is an investment in myself and this business to, to serve you better, to serve our future potential clients better, to get to that next level we need to get to to help more people. That's an investment in that. Um, what's another example? Food. Food is an example. I love eating food. I love eating great food. So when we were in Spain last year, me and my wife's first ever vacation, some of the best food I've ever eaten in my life. And still to this day, almost one year later, I just crave some of the food that we ate over there because it was so good. That entire experience with my, with my wife was an investment in our relationship, our future, bonding, um, growing our mental capabilities, expanding our horizons, all that. So I truly believe to kind of get to another level, you have to either already think like this or learn how to think like this. And frankly, I don't, there wasn't like a light bulb moment where all of a sudden I was like, oh, this makes sense. And I need to kind of flip the way I'm thinking. I think it was just an accumulation of learning this kind of stuff for at that point, 10 or 10 or so years. Uh, now, 13 years later, or 13 years after I first started learning this kind of stuff, it just intuitively makes sense. And people who view expenses as just 
and they get pissed off about it. It doesn't make sense to me anymore. Um, and again, this is to everyday life. Uh, not just business opportunities, it's relationships, it's experiences, it's food, it's relationships with your kids, it's all that. So how does this, what does this have to do with capital allocation? Pretty much everything, to be honest. So here is an example. I'm going over there to speak in the Philippines. I've spent 13 years in terms of value investing, investing knowledge learning this kind of stuff. I'm not speaking about value investing over there, at least not for the main reason I'm being brought over there. Last year, I invested in uh, becoming a John Maxwell certified uh, coach, trainer, speaker, and teacher. The person who invited me over there wants to become a John Maxwell trainer, speaker, coach as well. So because they saw, because A, my teammate worked there or worked with them uh, in the past, so they had the relationship. B, I had experience in marketing and have learned marketing and helped companies for the last four years in marketing. And then B, or C, invested in myself to learn how to become a better speaker and coach and trainer and all that and partnering with John Maxwell, one of the probably, probably the world's greatest leadership coach. These things all accumulated to get this speaking opportunity. And then again, you get the sight, seeing the sights, eating the food, um, seeing my teammates for the first time ever, going to my the country my wife was born in, uh, making whatever money we can make over there while we're over there, helping up people. None of this would have happened if I wouldn't have allocated my capital years ago to learning these skills, this knowledge, and these kind of things that I can help people with. If you don't allocate your time properly now, you don't know, you probably, let me, let me rephrase that. So if you don't allocate your capital well now, you probably won't be where you want to be 10, 15, 20 years from now. If you allocate your capital well now in learning, investing in skills, improving yourself, whatever, you'll be, I can guarantee you'll be closer to your goals probably personally, financially, whatever. Both, probably. You'll be helping more people. And your goals, even though they may change over time, and they probably will change over time, as long as you keep improving, keep adding skills, keep getting better, keep gaining knowledge, keep helping more people, you will get, you will get to where you want to be. Am I even close to where I want to be right now? No, but I'm a hell of a lot closer than I was 13 years ago. I know that. And I'm heading in the right direction because I got this invitation and other invitations like it. Like when I went to Dubai on business last year. Um, that's another one. If I would have invested my skills at that point for years prior to that on value investing, this was specifically about investing and finance and how, how to grow businesses, <clears throat> I wouldn't have been invited to come over there to Dubai. Same thing. This will, if you allocate your capital well, your life will improve, you will earn more money, you'll be happier, uh, you'll be closer to your goals. If you don't allocate your capital well, in this case time, your life will either not get better or it will get worse. You won't earn more money, you won't be as happy, and you won't be as good off as you could be. Start today allocating your capital better. Start thinking about expenses differently. Think of them as investments. Uh, don't think as a $7 book purchase or a $20 book purchase. Don't look at that as uh, an expense and it's gone. Look at that as how can I get as much information out of this as humanly possible so I can continue it, continually keep improving and learning and growing. I hope this helps. Um, I really hope this helps because I cannot emphasize how important capital allocation is, proper capital allocation. Not again, we're not talking about just finance, just investments here. We're talking about everyday life, making your life better. If you aren't willing to invest in yourself and make yourself better, why would anybody anybody else invest in you and make help make you better? You have to start yourself. Um, 
and start today, even if it's five, 10, 30 minutes, whatever. Um, I started years ago when I had my extreme business where I can do anything for more than 30 minutes at a day, in a, any day where I felt just absolutely awful. <clears throat> and that, start, actually starting that, that's an example of capital allocation as well. That started me down the road of eventually learning through various doctors how to control my business and getting to the point where I am today health-wise. That is another decision on capital allocation. I made the decision that I needed to figure something out or it was getting badly. That's uh, the kind of bad place I was then compared to where I am now. So change your life today. Start allocating your capital better. In this case, time. I'm talking about time mainly. Capital, of course. I've got other videos where I explain what I view as capital. Time is a huge part of capital. It's money, of course, all that. But time and money are the two biggest that I'm going to talk about here uh, going forward on the blog. If you're in the Philippines, reach out to me. Jason Rivera at valueinvestingjourney.com. Jason Rivera at valueinvestingjourney.com. We hope to have the syllabus up for the two events soon in the Philippines. I'd love to meet you again if you're there. I'd love to have you at these events. And we'll announce more of those soon. But today I wanted to talk about specifically investments and expenses and capital allocation. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you learned a lot from it. And if you did, um, let me know in the comments below what you thought about it. And uh, until next time, I'll talk to you again soon. Have a great day. Bye.